Um, the fundamentals of contingency planning requires that you first understand the risks and this requires some degree of risk analysis. In order to do risk analysis, there are three things that you have to understand. First of all, what are you protecting? What is it you have that's important? What am I protecting against? What are the specific risks to that thing? And how much am I willing to spend against these assets? So under the first heading, what am I protecting? Sometimes this requires an inventory of assets, isn't it? It does, and usually the most important asset you have is human. So yes. you're talking about company management people who are actually out there. And this is why coming out of threat risk vulnerability assessment before anyone leaves mm -hmm. from, the, from the head office, right. on the ground you send out professionals who know what they're doing and they complete, carry out complete analysis right. of everything to do with security right. and risk. Bring that back and that gives the company the opportunity to be able to develop their own contingency. So you could identify something like this individual geologist, if he's become sick then nobody else can do anything until he's back on site or uh, that notebook computer, does it not have a backup? It should because of that notebook computer's missing, mm -hmm. the software to run the applications, etc. Uh, what are the specific risks? This could be complicated by human factors, economic, technological environment weather extremes, geography, topography, etc. Those are some of the things that affect what are the specific risks, aren't they? They are. I mean, it's not just terrorists, it's not you know, guerrillas and, you know, indigenous forces. I mean, it could, it could really be anything. You need to look at all those issues. Mm. And all those issues are decided with a client before, before someone goes on and right. carries out a threat risk vulnerability assessment. In terms of uh, the money to spend to protect these assets, some people obviously say that uh, you have to try to assess the value of the asset and you wouldn't obviously spend more money protecting against that, just let it expire. That, but sometimes people don't even want to spend a tiny bit. This, this is the biggest problem. I mean, <coughs> I've been involved with companies who want to send a full management team, the CFO, the CEO and everybody else out there before a threat assessment has been carried out. Well, that is the most stupid stupid thing to do simply because you can't afford to lose all those people. Okay. So what we, we advise our companies we work for is to send out a, a couple mm -hmm. of individuals who are security consultants to go and assess all the risks so that before this management team deploys to wherever they're deploying, all the risks right. have been identified, there's a report, there's a contingency plan being written. Right. right. Thanks very much. Okay.